All right guys, today we're gonna to be working on this Super 73 and we're gonna be putting some tires on it. We're gonna be putting on the Shinko, the SR567. They're front tires, but we're gonna use it for the front and the back. They're scooter tires. You would think they wouldn't fit because the size says 110, 70 by 16. The way they measure their tires are a lot different than they do e-bike tires. So they will fit on these even though these are 20 inch wheels on the Super 73. So if you wanna order these same ones, again, Shinko SR567. 110 70 16s you can find these on amazon for i think about i want to say they're 57 dollars a piece or 60 bucks a piece but uh i know they're going to be a bitch to put on i'm going to start with the front only because i know it's going to be the easiest and i really want to see how hard it is going to be to get these on because the back is going to suck we got a 72 volt system on my super 73 which means i have to take this whole side panel off i actually have to take the whole wiring off to the rear motor all the zip ties that i put down there and then I could pull the rear motor off. So I have a lot more to do than you would on your standard Super 73 if you wanted to switch. Keep in mind if you do this upgrade though, these tires I believe are twice as heavy as the stock ones. So just keep that in mind. You're gonna lose some speed and you're probably gonna lose some power like torque wise. We're gonna use this little jack. I'll post a link on Amazon. We're gonna lift up the bike with this. You look how easy it is just to lift up the front. So now you just have all access to the front. You have the back sitting there and if you need to get the back up you just got to move this jack more closer to the rear and then you're good to go so this should set us up to get this front off all right that was easy enough to get the front off i will say that those bolts were hella hard to get off i don't think they've ever been taken off at all in its lifetime that this bike has been ridden because i got it at 30 miles so those bolts are really good on there that's a good thing but i was afraid of stripping stuff but we got it now let's see how hard it's going to be once we start stripping this down get the air out of this tire and pop it off all right that wasn't too bad so after getting this tire off super easy didn't take long at all um mine had some uh liner in it for like flats and stuff like that i think i'm gonna leave that out to save a little bit of weight because these are some really thick bad boy tires over here these are super thin that's why they get flats on them so easy so i think we should be okay with these not having this in there so i'm gonna leave that out and now the real test to see how hard these are to get <laughs> On these rims, I'm really uh, worried. Surprisingly, I'm not even gonna lie, I actually got this on without even using my tire levers, which I thought I was gonna have to use these because I use these on the stock tires and I perfectly got these on. That is nice. Now I wanna air it up and make sure there's no uh, kinks or anything in the tube. All right, so I have got the tire on here and you probably can't notice, but this side is a little tucked more in compared to some of the other sides. So I'm really hoping there's not going to be an issue with wobbles or anything like that. I aired it up three different times to see if I could fix that little by little. Um, I checked this side and this side looks a little bit off too. It's almost there. It almost looks perfect, but I'm going to have to put it on the bike and we're going to have to spin it on the axle so we can see if there's a lump in the tire or not. The front is now on. I took it down the street a little tiny bit. Um, I love how these look. They look a little bit more low profile than these the badger tires and they're sick the tread design is awesome they felt really sticky just even going down the road but um it is kind of unbalanced i can tell um it had a little bit of a lump in the front so we're probably gonna have to air that down another time and basically uh make sure the tire is beaded perfectly all the way around instead of being pushed out on one side because then you get that lump going back and forth and here's a little walk around the bike just in case you kind of want to get an idea of how it looks I know there's not many videos out there showing you one tire being on there with the other one being on there. So that's kind of how it looks. But uh, it's gonna take me a while to get this back off. So uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start right now. So I started doing the back and obviously I have a lot more to do. Um, I had to disconnect these three wires that went to the controller super easy, but I did have to do all these zip ties. So I'm gonna zip tie this whole motor and uh, hug it back up here. But um, that's the extra step I have to do. 
But basically, if you have the same setup, you're just gonna loosen these nuts and then you gotta take these both off. You gotta take this off, which I already loosened it up. So it's gonna go off to the side. And then once you have all these taken out, the back tire should just slide right off. Oh, and one more thing you do have to take off is you have to take this uh, bolt that's right on here so you can get rid of that. And then uh, basically we're almost there. Just took the air out of this one now and uh, let's get to work. All right, so this side is a little tiny bit harder in the rear, only because it's my setup. If you have a 72 volt system, this rim is ever so slightly larger than the stock wheel. But if you're doing this on a stock RX, you're not gonna have a huge problem putting these tires on. They're a little bit of a pain because they're brand new. They're not as flexible as the other ones, but you'll be fine. I feel out of breath. Um, the rear tire on the 72 volt 5,000 watt motor is insane. Oh my God, I'm looking at it right now and just, <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I got it done. It's finally on. I will say it wasn't perfect because I had to use three tire levers and they were really huge. So uh, we started chipping the paint a little bit on the side and that was just from trying to lift the tire over the rim. That wasn't even me scratching the rim whatsoever. So uh, got a little Sharpie, kind of filled it in. No one's really gonna notice. Hopefully there's no uh, bins or anything like that in this rim because it was a pain in the ass to put on. But we're gonna get it on the bike and put all the whole motor back in the bike, all that stuff, whatever we gotta do, and then um, go ride it and see how it is. All right, so thank the Lord. Um, finally got it all put together. The only thing I have not done is put some zip ties for the motor again. You might have to zip tie your original motor. If it disconnects right here, you might have two right here, so you might have to get some extra zip ties if you're changing out the tires or a tube, or you probably already know how to do that. But I uh, basically just needed to tie this back together. I need to get my side panel back on. But I'm really hoping I don't have a flat in this one because it took me forever with the tire wrenches to get this on. So I'm gonna cry if there's a flat on there. And if there is, I'm gonna use the, I think it's Armadillo or something like that. It's a tire slime. Um, I'm gonna put that in anyway, just to be on the safe side, but I'm really hoping it's not flat. So I do not wanna have to do the work all over again, but I'm gonna take it down the road, see if there's any lumps in anything in the tire. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be and then I will come back and probably deflate them, add some tire slime, and that's gonna be the end. All right, that's gonna do the setup, guys. Surprisingly, it doesn't feel like the back has a wobble to it. It feels like the front has more of a wobble. Um, I need to fix that, so we'll probably deflate it, like I said. We'll put some tire slime in there and be good on it, but uh, it looks really nice. I believe we did lose some top speed, but I'm not 100% sure because the bike is not fully charged yet. It's at like 76 or 75 volts. So once I get it fully charged, we'll see if we lost some top speed, but we'll do that video in another day. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next one. The next ride that I'm gonna do on this bike is gonna be testing out those tires, see how well they work, how they grip, if we lost our speed, if we lost some torque, and then see if these tires would be the right thing for you for your stock Super 73 or maybe your modified Super 73. I already know some pros and cons to this setup, but I'm gonna leave it to another video when we actually go ride it and test it out. So see you in that next video. Later, guys. <laughs> Damn. <sighs> Ugh. Oh man, it's taking off the paint.